here with Johnny A with the Trues who just did an incredible set at the Canadian Barbecue Blast or the Canadian Bass Blast Barbecue. Um, that was really incredible. Um, thank you. Um, how has your experience been? Like, I know you're showcasing a, a, at Esther's Follies tonight and a couple other shows. shows. A show tonight, there's two shows tomorrow. Um, it's been really wonderful. We got in last night, accidentally stumbled upon a Willie Nelson show. Wow. So it's not, it's, it's the kind of thing that can happen at South by, you know. I've, I've seen everybody here from Robert Plant to Ray Davies to Willie Nelson to, you know, just New York Dolls. It's great music. Like, you never know who you're going to see. That's really what I love about it here. The more you plan, the less you succeed, in my experience. You gotta kind of just stumble into it. You're absolutely right. I had so. such a tight itinerary yesterday, and it just all went for a ball of chalk. I'm like, forget it. I'm just gonna, just gonna let it happen. Yeah, let it happen. Cool will happen. It already has. I mean, today was excellent. Yeah. Um, and you have a new record out. Do you want to talk about that? Well, we have an EP. Um, it's called Thank You and I'm Sorry. Um, basically, we found ourselves at the tail end of Hope and Ruin, which is like a two-year tour, our last full-length album. And we had dates left, and we felt like there were Canadian dates, we sort of felt like we had uh, already really run the cycle of that album. So we wanted, we didn't want to go out without a few new songs. And so we, we just quickly put together this EP called Thank You and I'm Sorry, which is only uh, six songs. We did it about five days, and it was a real quick and easy process. And we were so happy with the way it turned out. A bunch of friends came to join the party, like Woody Johnson, Rich Robinson from the Black Crows, Eddie Harsh from the Black Crows. Ian McGlagan at the Faces, like everybody that played on it with us, it was really, really uh, a great experience. And uh, we don't plan on making it a full-scale tour behind it. We were just happy to get those songs out. Some of them had been with us for years. So Power to Positive Drinking has been in our set for four years. Wow. We've, never, we've never done it, so it was good to get those off, off the off our chest. And now we can go back and do that. Like, um, it's funny you mentioned the Black Crows. I mean, that's exactly what I was thinking of when I was listening to your set. Not since the Black Crows have I been as excited about a real rock band as I was today. So well, that was a real it. Rock band. And so are you. Too, so, so are you. Good job. Okay, um, who are you excited to see? I mean, I know we don't have plans, but you got to have well, a one plan. I'm working on getting into that Sound City show because I saw that documentary Dave Will did recently, mm -hmm. and I thought it was so good. So uh, if, I, if I could get into that show, I'd be, I'd be tickled thing. But again, I'm sure people are attention out now for it. So. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much for talking. You want to give us a shout out to Sharon, our girl Sharon in Canada, who loves you so much? Sharon Vernon in Canada, her sister Maureen. All right. You know, we totally appreciate your love and support. Keep the faith. Oh, awesome. Thank you, John. Thank you so much.